Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number nine of the Upgrade My Rituals podcast. I am Kevin McKellar, your host. Thank you so much for listening in and watching in and doing all the things that you do today. Uh, Listen, I'm very excited. Today is going to be a fairly meaty episode. I want to um, teach you guys a little bit about a part of ritual design, and it's, in my opinion, one of the most important parts, and this is called the keystone ritual. So when we think about your ritual design, it's really revolved around the day-to-day, right? A 24-hour period, what are the things that you do? What are the things you do in the morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever you choose to, however you choose to set it up. But there's something called the keystone ritual. Now, this usually happens, for me, at least, on Sunday, okay? The the reason why this happens on Sunday is because of the fact that my work week is Monday through Friday. So I usually start, you know, a lot of things that I want to have accomplished throughout the week. You know, Sunday is kind of that rejuvenation and, and kind of reset day before I have my, you know, five day stretch of the exact same type of uh, activities. Now, the reason I say mine is Sunday is because yours could be very different, right? Yours could be, um, you know, say you have a Tuesday through Saturday. Say if you're a, uh, a waiter in a restaurant and you work really from Tuesday through Saturday, right? And you're off Sunday, Monday, because those are the slowest days. So Monday would be your keystone ritual, right? Um, that's when you would do that. Um, First, before we go on, I want to actually define what keystone actually means. Like, what what does that mean? Um, And I actually pulled up an exact definition right here. The central principle or part of a policy system, et cetera, on which all else depends. Ooh, it sounds sounds interesting. It sounds deep and serious. That's because it is. No, so it, it really is. And you probably kind of already had an idea, but really it all depends on what you do in your keystone ritual. So let me, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to tell you what my keystone ritual looks like. And I'm going to pull it up right here so I don't forget exactly the every little detail and nitty gritty. So I am going into my notes and let me go into my week here. Okay, so let's go to Sunday. Okay, so my keystone ritual is actually very, very simple because of the fact that it's actually comprised of um, of uh, the key, the actual keystone ritual and then also doing my PM routine. So my PM routine stays the same throughout all, you know, six or seven days a week, but this is in addition to, so the PM, the PM routine is kind of in nestled in the keystone ritual. So it's kind of creating a keystone ritual, including the PM. I'm going all over the place. You get what I'm saying, right? Okay. So the keystone ritual for me, it consists of three, three things. <laughs> Pulling my list. What does that mean? Well, I have to pull my list for my prospects in my day job. I'm an outside sales rep, and I have to pull my list of prospects I'm going to go see on Monday. Okay, that's uh, an important part of that. Now, that is also an activity that's included in some of my other rituals throughout other days of the week, usually in my uh, AW uh, ritual. Now, there's another one, RPM for the week. So number two under the Keystone Ritual for me is RPM for the week. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about by RPM, I'll explain. RPM stands for Results Focus Purpose Driven Massive Action Plan, and that is directly from Tony Robbins' um, literature, if you will. Um, Now, the way I do it is really a a kind of a, a cross between David Allen getting things done and uh, Tony Robbins RPM, which actually, again, one of these days I'm going to be doing a whole full fledged video tutorial on my own system that is kind of encompassing of those two. So that's number two. Number one, pull my list. Number two, RPM for the week. So that's the whole week. And number three <laughs> is to iron. 
iron my shirts. You will not believe that if I don't iron my shirts, what happens? Because what happens is either one, the really bad situation is in the morning I'm scrambling around and I'm, and it takes me a while to iron a shirt. I have to, it spends at least like six to seven minutes to iron one stupid shirt. I hate it. I hate it, but it's got to get done because I, I believe saving 30 bucks on dry cleaning is better. Either way, um, I am ironing, uh, for the week and I'll tell you, oh, sorry, I, was, I forgot to tell you. So either I'm doing it in the morning or I'm doing it the night before. But again, the problem is that is not encompassed. That's already not part of my PM ritual. So what happens is that if I insert something in there, everything gets thrown off. That's why the keystone ritual is so important. I could bang out five shirts. I know this sounds so stupid, but that's the whole point of this. It's like this stupid little keystone ritual that is, is everything all depends on it. Right. So that's kind of that, that's, that's mine, you know, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, um, walk you through how to make your own. Okay. Um, okay. So number one, what I want you to do is kind of, I alluded to this prior is to pick your start day of your week. Now for probably 83% of you listening to this and watching this is going to be Sunday, right? You usually have a Monday through Friday work week. But for those of you who don't, you have to start this the beginning of your work week. Now, for some of you, you may, like my wife used to be a pediatric ICU nurse. So she would be like all random days, like, you know, three on, two off, one on, three off, five on, whatever, right? And there was no rhyme or reason. So with that being said, what I would do is pick an arbitrary day of the week. That really doesn't matter, right? So, you know, Sunday is nice just because it's the, you know, classically it's, we're, we're ingrained in our society that Sunday is okay. We got to kind of, you, do yada yada to prep for Monday, right? Before you went to school on Monday. So pick the start of your week. That's step one. And really, like I said, if you don't have a start of your week, then pick an arbitrary day of the week that you're going to stick to. Every week you have to do this because for whatever it is for you, you have to make sure that that stuff gets done because all the other rituals within your ritual design depend on that being done. I need my clean iron shirts. (laughs) Okay. Number two, pick the least uh, friction time of day, the time of day that gives you the least friction to get this done. So for me, I've been actually lately experimenting. Um, last Sunday, it worked really, really well where I started my routine. The very first thing I woke up, I didn't go outside and start mowing the lawn. I didn't start going outside, putting up my fence, right? I didn't start cleaning the house. I just, the first thing I did, literally, I got my coffee. I mean, not the very first thing, of course. Come on now. The very first thing after I got my coffee and kind of relaxed a little bit, I started ironing my shirts, right? And that was a project because I had way more than five to iron. But I'm going to tell you by 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. After I did that, I did my RPM for the week. Um, you know, I, I pulled my list. I did some other work stuff. I mean, I was, I knew, I just knew deep down the next seven days I was going to kill it. And that was just last Sunday. It was two days ago. By the time of recording this today was super, super productive. Wonder why either way, um, pick the time of day that you're most inclined to get this stuff done. Okay. That's, that's the most important thing. Uh, I'm just going to, okay, cool. Last thing is really important. Now you have to actually pick the tasks and the, um, the widgets, right? If, uh, what you're actually going to be comprising this keystone ritual of, and if you never heard of the Pareto principle, this is the 80, 20 of what is going to be happening. So I'll explain this. What is the 20% of the things that make 80% of the difference? Or if in your case, or for this case, what is 20% of the activities that will help you be 80% more productive throughout the week or hit 80% of your ritual design each day throughout the week? So for me, again, a stupid but very important thing is just ironing my shirts, making sure my shirts are ironed because it it takes time. It's a thing I got to do. If I know I have to do that, then I'm going to make sure my shirts are actually clean in the wash. It's so silly, but, um, it's my, 
80, 20, right? Pulling my list for the next day kind of gets me set up. And the most important thing really for me on a higher hierarchy level is the RPM, right? The plan for the week. What am I going to get done? Why do I want to get them done? And what's my actual plan to get those things accomplished? And that is, like I said, another video that will kind of go into depth, you know, a little more um, uh, later on. So, Let's review this, right? The keystone habit is the, the or excuse, excuse me, I can't even speak today. The keystone ritual is the thing that you do, the ritual once a week that all other rituals and routines throughout your week are dependent upon. It's the keystone ritual, right? And whatever it is for you, you have to decide that. But to make sure you do that, pick a day of the week, the beginning of your own personal week, right? Pick the best time of day that you're most likely to get it done and figure out the 80-20 of your week coming up and what that's going to do. What is the 20% of the things that's going to make 80% of the difference? And I love that because it's so it's sometimes so simple for us, uh, you know, and for you, but sometimes it's just, it's so effective when you actually do it. So, you know, and if you're listening to this, I got a big smile on my face because it's just so silly, but it's, it's the truth. So that's it. That's the very, very simple ritual, uh, keystone ritual that is encompassing the ritual design. And I hope this makes sense. I hope you are able to implement this right away. Um, to be honest with you, if you're listening to this on Thursday, right when it comes out or Friday or the weekend, um, what I would recommend you do, if you have this urge of, um, you know, um, inspiration and, this urge to implement, then just pretend it's the beginning of the week. You don't have to, you don't have to wait to Sunday. You don't have to wait to Monday, whatever it is for you, most likely Sunday. If it's Friday night, then do it. Just list out a couple of things that's going to make your week really easy coming up and get them done before you go out and hang out with your buddies or, you know, whatever it may be. Because if you're in the moment of learning something new and you're excited about actually doing it, then go do it. Don't wait for the time that I'm telling you to do it. Get it done. It's really cool. I promise it'll help. Um, thank you so much for listening, guys. If you are listening and you like this, please share it with a friend and actually subscribe to the podcast. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the bell icon and, uh, and 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 you know leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me tell me ultimately what your uh, what you've you know, been doing to actually help your routines in the past, or if you've never even thought of this process before, that's okay. Moving forward. Um, here you go. The Keystone Ritual. Guys, thank you so much for listening. And I will see you next week here on the Upgrade My Rituals podcast.